Hey everybody and welcome back to the Inhabit Mars channel. <clears throat> Tonight we're going to be, uh, well we've actually started on it, but we're going to be looking at the beginnings of this uh, Apollo 11 image uh, where we've seen several structures. Uh, Chris Maroney from Mars Anomalies and Beyond already did a video on this and he did a fantastic job, of course, <laughs> cleaning up the images and whatnot. But we're going to go ahead and, um, of course, model this stuff in 3D and show you uh, some of the stuff that he found, of course, and, uh, and, you know, more of the stuff like we found. Uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, but uh, we just moved into our new house. In fact, we're still moving. We still have several things to move. And uh, our friend Bruce and us, uh, we went together and, and he put the money down and, and bought the house. And, and we're basically renting it from him. Uh, but this is a great house. We're finally, we've been in an apartment for well probably a year and a half or more uh and now we're finally moving back into a house so uh in fact all the spectrum stuff uh for the internet the guy's coming tomorrow to finish hooking it up it's all right here so we're gonna get the internet hooked up so it's gonna take a while to upload this we'll i'll upload it using my phone all right but I just want to show you what we are actually working on. This is the image right here. Uh, I went ahead and downloaded it, uh, I think, from Wikipedia is where I actually researched. No, I, I followed the link from Chris's uh, video and got the image for him. So I went to the NASA files and found the image uh, following his link. So check out Chris's video from Mars Anomalies and uh, you know he, he does obviously a fantastic job I've said it a hundred times uh, but it's true uh, he does a fantastic job of cleaning these up I honestly wish I could clean these up as well as he does so uh, what we're going to do is uh, go into the model and I just want to show you some of the stuff that we're working on so far so here's Blender Live and I'm going to go ahead. I only have, I don't have my second monitor over. Well, I have it over here, but I don't have it hooked up yet. I um, actually got my computer set up on a uh, TV tray um, until I can get my desks over here. I have two desks. Um, one of them is actually Jenny's desk and one's mine. And we usually work off of those. But, uh, excuse me. I apologize for the yawning. I had a really long day at work. Um, but, we uh anyway well, we'll get this move done here within the next week or so uh but i'm planning on bringing the desks over hopefully tomorrow and the technician i know tomorrow's sunday but he said he would come tomorrow to hook up the internet so what we want to do is go ahead and show you what we've been working on so far now the very first thing i noticed in this image was this crater right here and uh, I will post links to Chris's video. Once again, I don't have everything set up to be able to do that right now. Uh, but this is definitely going to be a multi-part series because there's so much to talk about in these images. And there's some fantastic things in these images. Uh, just in this crater alone, some things you can see that don't even look right uh, are... Number one, this crater has a very... Um, as Dave Gannett from uh, Mars X 3D would say, uh, non-fractal um, uh, structure to it, okay? And it's got some things. And this is one of the first things I kind of noticed. Number one, let me just show you. For a crater, it has a very flat surface to it. Now, it does indent a little bit Excuse me. across this middle section going uh, almost uh perpendicular to the camera so it does indent a little bit but relatively flat and you think with the crater you'd have a bowl shape of something impacted here unless it got filled in by something and of course nasa will tell you that there were lava flows underneath the moon and uh if my friend bruce was out here right now he could tell you how that's not uh accurate and the guy is a geologist paleontologist and I always forget the third one. But anyway, uh, he knows a lot about rocks and he knows a lot about 
spaceship plants and how things work. And he says, no, that's not what we're looking at here. He's actually looked at this part of the image. And like I said, he said the same thing. This does not look like a crater at all. So we're going to get into modeling some of this stuff here. But the first thing that I actually modeled was this wall right here. And you can see I put some of the main structures in here. Uh, this first part is this horseshoe-shaped piece that's on top of the wall. All right, so if the shape of the wall was not enough to convince you that this is not natural, then hopefully some of this other stuff on it will. The next part is this crane-like structure uh, that's right here. And I'm going to get in a little closer here in just a second. But just to show you, there's a crane-like structure right here. And then if you look right beside it, it's a little harder to see. But it looks like a basket right here to raise stuff up to the top of the wall. And let's go ahead and look at some of this stuff. And I think I need to add a little more detail. But um, this right here is that basket looking thing right here. And that's right on top of the wall. And I'm sure as you know uh, from Chris's videos and from mine, we don't do anything to the actual images. No adding or taking away stuff except obviously the things that we do 3D model. But we lay those right on top of the actual image. And this is the actual image. And you can see this round basket type thing with these two uh, kind of they stick up and curve around at the top as if that would be where you lift this from. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's so late here. I've just been working. Uh, I worked until pretty late today. I didn't get home till almost 6 in the afternoon after going in early this morning. And uh, and then I cooked dinner for Jenny and the kids and everyone. And then, of course, I had a few drinks, of course. And then I'm off to modeling. And then I said, let me post a video. All right, but that's the first thing we have here. Um, and then, uh, now, Chris pointed out a lot of these things in the background. And I have to tell you, they caught my attention, too. Um, I just want to get into these real quick, and I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. Of course, you know my videos never are too quick. But one of the first things I noticed was this thing right here. All right, so I moved this out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and hide this one so you can see through it. But take a look at this thing. This object right here, you can see how this wall goes back. There's a dark piece in the middle, which I do need to texture that dark. And I'm not sure if it's in shadow or that's the material. Because look at the wall around it. Here's a wall right here that comes out and it's light. And then you got this wall. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, that's dark. All right, so I probably need to texture that dark. And then you have a piece that sticks up uh, kind of behind it. And obviously not done with this yet. But um, you can kind of see this is a, uh, about the same angle right here. And that's what this piece looks like. And let's just go around it. Excuse me. You got this piece that sticks up right here. All right, we did go ahead and model that. We've got the pieces of the wall that do stick out. All right. And that's about all we got so far on that one. By the way, I should have mentioned this a minute ago. Our sun, if you look at the shadows, see the long shadows? Our sun, uh, here's the terrain down here. Let me go ahead and look at it. Uh, so if we were to click on something here, you'd see, um, let me get the right angle here, that our sun is coming kind of from this angle here, all right? And, uh, it's kind of low in the sky in this image, and this is our sun, mm, and, uh, it's casting shadows long way, kind of coming, uh, across, if you were looking at this at the right angle if I got it to the right angle so you can see it at the right angle you see that the Sun is coming across and it's up 
you know, a little bit in the sky, but it's kind of like, you know, late afternoon in this on this part of the moon right here. Okay, and of course we did texture our terrain. You can see the stuff sticking up here, but uh, I haven't dropped any objects into it yet because, like I say, we're still early in this model. But I just want to give you an idea that we are working on it, and uh, that was one of the buildings there. Let me get in back over here now the next building is this one right here and it is dark and no matter what I do let me try bringing up the brightness and a little bit of contrast uh, let's go with 0.45 okay now that's still light but you get an idea of the shape of this thing it it has these um, kind of peaked roofs on it and you can kind of see the shape of it here this is what we're looking at with that building there and you know it's really um i don't know why this one is a darker material what they use that makes it a darker material and this is about right about here is the angle you're seeing this one at okay but that's that building there okay i'm going to drop the brightness down to 0.1 again oh it helps if I click on the right one. Okay. Uh, 0.15. Okay. Yeah, it's a little too much. Let's go up to 0.2. Okay. All right. We'll leave it at that. All right. So that's that one there. Well, let's see. Let's go back. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then the next one um that we modeled was this one look at the shape of that building there and um, now i'm gonna have to bring up the contrast so you can see this let me move in where i can see him bring the brightness down to 0.05 yeah it's going to be hard to see in here but you'll see that it has actually these two uh, walls right here um, one in the front and one in the back uh, it's really hard to see and I'll try to bring that out a little more but I'm not sure why they built this building this way but that seems to be um, what it looks like right there okay and these seem to be structures every single one of them now this one really interested me now I have to really bring this down I need to bring the contrast down and then bring the brightness down to 0 0.08 okay this way you can see these shapes take a look at this this seems to be a building and it has a uh, peaked roof on it all right and uh, and then it has these three uh, pieces two in the back and one in the front that stick out and then these cylinders on top of it and I'm gonna try to get where I can show you both but take a look this one comes out at an angle and you can see I went ahead and modeled it at an angle there so they come out kind of like rabbit ears on an old antenna you know analog antenna and uh so we model that one but that's interesting i don't know if it's a building or maybe some sort of craft but uh the front one actually can i bring up the contrast just a little more i hate to waste too much time here but let's go to 0 0.3 that's gonna be too much okay let's go to 0.25 and you can see you start to see this line where this front one is kind of angled forward somewhat and uh, so I don't know if this is a building or a craft but there's that one there and we're gonna get obviously more into these as we go along with this model and then this now this is cool I'm gonna back out just a little bit take a look at the shape of this okay it's kind of like a diamond shape all right, well, I can't really make a diamond shape with my hand. <coughs> and it's got the one behind and the one in front. 
All right, and they seem to be about the same. Now, when I adjusted the contrast on this, yeah, it's a little too much. I really should be more prepared with this stuff. Okay, can you see these circles in between? These are some sort of tubes, and I have a model here. I'm going to uh, do the inside of them dark so there's a good bit of contrast. But each one of these, there seems to be one, then two spaced, and then one, two, at least three. And I'm not, I obviously can't be for certain, but it would fit that way if that is true. Mm. I gotta hurry. Yeah, the sun's gonna be in the way. But it seems to be these hollow tubes, and you have one set here and one below it, okay, and in front of it, all right? So that was pretty cool. All right, now let's get into this piece. Right, oh, let me put that back first. All right, so this is cool, and I don't look. Doesn't look like I thought I already turned this. Oh, it's kind of at the right angle, and yes, I did turn it. Take a look at this thing. I believe this is some sort of craft sitting on some sort of pad. All right. Okay. This is the base of it, and this is where it separates what would be maybe the craft, and I don't know for certain, from the base. And look at the shapes that these have. And this is like the base right here. And I'm going to get in real close. I wish I could see both. And uh, it seems to be sitting on a rectangular platform with maybe some legs coming down. And then it's got these, um, whatever you want to call these things, on the sides of it and they angle down towards the front and then if this is a craft which it might be take a look at these you have nacelles or something on the end you can see that this one goes up at an angle and so does this one and if you look real close you'll see in these middle sections these two rectangular uh, pieces maybe they're engines if it's a craft and then you can see two on the end also um, and this seems to be the shape that this whole platform has. And I believe there's some sort of spaceship. Well, it helps if I don't get in the glare of the sun. My sun's a little bright. I might need to dim it down just a little bit. But there's that piece right there. And like I say, these are just some of the things we're working on uh, with this model. There's some pretty cool stuff in here. And there's a lot more that we need to go through in the next videos. But that's where I started and if you remember in a previous video uh jenny was in that video and we were showing you how it looks like they've dug into the moon and actually have these craters that go down uh if i bring up the contrast can you see it hang on sweetie no i need to go down and then bring the brightness down to 0 0.05 okay well it didn't make much difference hold on sweetie i'll get it for you in just a minute you want Gatorade? Alara, uh, my younger one, wants Gatorade. But we were able to see that these lines, these striations, actually go down into this. And you can see by this wall right here, look how it comes down. These go deep down into the moon. And whatever they're mining from the moon, uh, if that's what they're doing, it's pretty wild. Uh, it's going down into that moon. So, all right, that's 19 minutes. I just wanted to give you an idea of what we are uh, looking at. And uh, I hope you guys take care of yourselves. Uh, be careful out there. And uh, hopefully, um, now that we're moved into a house, maybe I'll be able to <laughs> be more relaxed and get some more done. I'm hoping so once we get everything set up. We're still setting up. So you guys have a good evening, and we will see you on the next uh video